My name is Miley, if you didn't know that. Probably didn't. I don't know me. Anyway, I'm going to tell you about two experiences I've had in the last two weeks while having blue hair. So, um, <clears throat> this is two different, very different experiences I've had. Um, they're both with elderly men, though. And when I say elderly, I mean, like, they're old enough to be my grandpa. Elderly. So, um, the first one was on Labor Day. I was with my friends at a restaurant. We were having lunch because we're both off. We're all off. Let's go to lunch. It's holiday. Let's do it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we go, and we're at the restaurant having fun. It's great. We have like the half booth, half chair table thing. So I'm on the booth. My friends are on the chairs. And then behind them is another table with an elderly man and then another guy that's probably like, you know, somebody that works with him or something. I don't know. I don't know him. I don't know what his life is. Whatever. So, um, it starts with, um, we order and then, so, my one friend goes to the bathroom. So, it's me and my other friend, and we're just sitting there. The waiter comes. He's cute. We're excited. We're like, yes, we got a cute waiter. Let's enjoy this. So, then our friend comes back, and I'm waving her over. Because I'm like, come here, we need to tell you about our cute waiter. Because that's what you gotta do. I'm waving her over. And then, I happen to make eye contact with the elderly man sitting behind my friend. And I'm like, mm hmm, this is awkward, why am I making eye contact with you? And he's giving me this weird smile thing, and I'm like, hmm, whatever, I ignore it. So throughout lunch, occasionally I make eye contact with him, and I'm like, hmm, no. And then, afterwards, we, uh, we get up, we're going and we're heading towards the bathroom and everything, because, you know, we're getting ready to leave. So, um, I'm, like, scanning the area, because I do that sometimes. Like, I'll just, you know, scan the room from a different angle. So, so I'm scanning up now. So I'm scanning the room, and I make more eye contact with him, because I have to walk past him to get to the bathroom. So I make more eye contact with him, and he gives me this, this nod, smile thing that just, <clears throat> it was gross. I was like, no, you're old enough to be my grandfather. Please don't look at me like that. So that happened. <coughs> Excuse me. And then today, so I went to breakfast with my mom and my dad and my little sister, who was one. So we're eating, and then my little sister's done. And she she wants to get out of the high chair. And I was like, yeah, go, take her. Take her to the bathroom, wash her hands, because. We don't have enough napkins, and we don't have any wipes, so, okay, whatever. I lift her up. I'm holding her away from me, like, her, her hands and her face are away from me, because she's a little messy, and I don't want to get it. I ain't, I ain't about that. And then, um, so, I walk past this booth, and there's a guy sitting on the outside, you know. We make eye contact. He's giving me this disgusted what's wrong with you look and I'm like are you upset because the way I'm holding my sister like what 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 is my sister giving you a weird look what's going on so I get to the bathroom and I realize I have blue hair and purple lips is that what was offending you because um I don't see how that could offend you in any way unless you know my face was jabbing you with a stick. Like, I, I know. And it's only going to get worse because I'm cutting my hair on Monday. So that's my experience with blue hair so far.